I'm thinking that we might have a twofer here today, folks. And what I mean by that is a twofer in terms of boss kills. Big time boss kills. One being the shadow pieces. The only problem is I don't really think we actually know where the shadow piece arena is, which, you know, that's kind of a big deal. But then, Toadstool. Toadstool, we might be able to do pretty easily. Problem is, need a lot of ice. How I've gone this long without making bloody chests for Pete's sake is unbelievable. Oh, I can use my new one I just got yesterday. Right, to boom bada bang, nice, got that up and rolling. Look at this, I've just been having my twigs and everything. Oh, for the first few minutes, everybody, I'm just gonna organize base, something I probably should have done 120 days ago. All right, looking better already, I say. Folks, got things up and rolling there. How many of these do I have? A lot. Okay, let's go ahead and plop these just anywhere. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, really. At this point in the game, day 100 and whatever the heck, yeah, no rhyme or reason to any which way of organization. So boom, boom, boom. All right, so it's summer in the morning. Also, what I was not expecting. What the heck, the last two days with our playthroughs, really was not anticipating joining with it being nearly summer already. And that kind of sucks with what I was hoping to accomplish. Um, I might still be able to do this, but I gotta run my little patootie off. So you know what? Gotta do this. Let's run, 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 run. And by this, I mean get as much ice as I possibly can, which unfortunately, it's not gonna be that much, but with some of these pond things, pond things, some of these pango things, I don't know why I said pond, still around, I should be able to get some. I still have some at base, but oof, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough to accomplish. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get enough. Oh, thank goodness for Passbeard, man. Ugh, all these Pangle spawns. All these Pangle spawns are really going to be my saving grace. So what am I trying to do, frantically trying to do, with this ice? Well, I was hoping today that maybe we'd be able to do a twofer with some big-time boss kills. One being Toadstool, the other being the Shadow Pieces. However, really the only way I'm going to be able to do the Toadstool fight is if I do it the flingo method and uh, well I don't really have that much ice and I didn't plan super duper accordingly my bad whoopsie daisy so it's why I am scrambling to get all the ice on the map that I can before it's too late and it's about to be too late in really only a minute here anybody else notice that nightmares have not really been showing up as fast as they used to or is it just me I don't know. It might... No, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Oh, you son of a gun game. I feel like nightmares have not been um, spawning super fast when you're insane. I don't know. It might just be me, but I'm actually happy for it because I need some nightmare fuel for some more weapons for the day. By the way, who knew getting ice was so dang dangerous? So, I'm actually doing far better than I thought I would. I don't think it's gonna be enough still, but way better than I thought, so I might be able to pull this off. Because I kind of forget that there are naturally spawning ice glaciers in this world. And honestly, they're available pretty much day one if you find them. So those are my saving grace. Yes, the pangle spawns this past winter definitely, definitely saved me in the end. But to get the few extra that I need, yes, thank goodness. And you can find them in the Rocky Lands biomes, which also means the Mosaic biomes. So yes, I have scoured what I could though, folks. In fact, I don't even see them on the map anymore. Yep, all my ice glaciers pretty much gone. Those are definitely not there anymore. So not going to be going there. So not bad. 40, 32, and then I think I got 20 or so back home. Not as much as I would like but it might have to do. I just realized I still don't have a flip in Tam O'Shanter in this world, do I? No, I don't think I do. That is just so annoying. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be what, our third winter and then I still don't even have a Tam O'Shanter. Also, I love how I'm just leaving all these things down here because I'm not really using them. But yeah, I was gonna say, we know where Toadstool is, correct? Correct, we do. All right, so let's have a look at this arena while we're down here. No, that was a terrible idea, everybody, because if I would have done that, my ice would have melted. But we have a secondary problem now. <laughs> really an annoying one. So, 13 ice. Why is that a problem? 
because Flingo Man is cost 50. <laughs> two more. Two more ice. And unfortunately, I don't know where I'm going to find them. Maybe up here. But I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Ooh. There's a naturally spawn. Ooh. There's naturally spawning over there. There's a lot of spiders. But it's worth it. Okay. I definitely got to go get those. Oh, son of a gun, everybody. You know what just hit me? I'm not going to be able to get butterflies to do this toadstool method. Because it's always nighttime, so there's no butterfly spawning. Right. Thing is, I don't have to use butterflies and flowers. Just a little easier that way. Hmm. Okay, I might be able to pull this off. It's going to be a little bit of a ragtag. But let's discuss how this method even goes down. First things first, a pitchfork. Actually, scratch that because I'm not doing the butterfly method. So you don't need a pitchfork. In fact... The only really things I need are things I already have. The star collar staff, then just a bunch of random stuff to constantly be on fire. Right. So we might be able to do this right now. All right, the arena is not looking bad. That said, these are kind of going to get in the way, I believe. So going to have to, unfortunately, get rid of some of these life flowers. Not all of them. Not all of them, that's for sure. But how does this thing work? Well, if I was using the other method of uh, flowers, I would pitchfork around them, plant some flowers, uh, use a star collar staff, and then light it on fire, and then it'd be constantly on fire, and the flingos are gonna start flinging. That's the idea. So, just do everything the same, just minus the, oh goodness, just minus the, oh goodness, minus the flowers, correct? Correct. Just got to make sure these are obviously in range. Let's see how many we can get up, shall we? Not bad. Not bad. If I had a little bit more ice, I'd be able to squeeze out one more. But this might just do it, everybody. This might just do it. We're going to give it a whirl. I'm going to give it a whirl. Man, I am really not having a hard time talking today. Uh, honestly, because if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. We haven't had something go really, really wrong lately except for yesterday when we almost died to outline because we didn't have armor but 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 what do i not need now so i can grab the other stuff and maybe give this toadstool fight a once over let's drop this down let's just do this for now because we might save it for later these are my other healing items just in case i need them star collar staff can stay down here because we're gonna need it all right now the big thing the weapons to fight toadstool Gonna need a lot of them, so thank goodness I've been insane most of the day. All right, I pretty much scoured every single weapon I had already, and I made a couple more dark swords. This is all the weapons that I can really scrounge together right now, everybody. <laughs> I have some spears that are various levels of durability. I got dual side clubs, also varying levels of durability. I just got a morning star because why not? I got all of these. You know, we should be all right. And in terms of armor. As long as you do this fight this way properly, you really shouldn't get hit at all. Then again, things happen. And I'm not even sure if this is going to be enough flingos. I haven't really done it with this uh, few before. But we're going to give it a whirl. Besides, if I go through the fight and I start to realize that it's not really going to work out, I could always back out and then choose to do this a different way. That being... Enlisting the help of some rocky lobsters. I don't really want to do that because that's the easy way. I want to do it this way because it's a little unique. Get to show you a uh, different side of the toadstool fight. Maybe a potential way to do this solo that maybe you've never thought of before. Maybe never seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I have one thing I need to take care of though. As you can see. I need to make sure my sanity... Right now is also great, but also during the fight. I am going to be using Dwarf Stars, so technically my sanity is going to be going up the whole time. But if I can just have a little bit of a fallback, just to be sure that I don't have to deal with Nightmare Creatures as well, I'm going to take it. So, I'm just going to chop some of these folks, do some final checkups, and then when you next join me, it's time for the Toadstool fight. Oh, I'm actually really glad you decided to do this now, Antlion. That's great, actually. This is the Antlion cave in everybody. This is what happens when you're down in the caves when she enrages and not up above. Yeah, this is actually perfect. 
came at the perfect time because I was literally about to cut back and say, all right, I think it's time to start the fight. So everything's in there. Food's up and rolling. That's fine. I'm going to be dropping my backpack and be using this for right now. Got all of these. Got all these. Fine, 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 fine. All these spores ended up showing up. So, 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 so. I guess this is it, everybody. So let's try it, I guess. So essentially what I've gone and done is drop a bunch of stuff around Toadstool, everybody, as you can see. And this is in effect to make sure the Flingos are constantly flinging. Let's try three. Three might be good. So let's drop this. Let's drop this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then it's pretty much fight on, everybody. Okay, so... I'm really nervous about this, everybody. He's not the hardest boss in the world, don't get me wrong. Okay, now I gotta go chop, boom, 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 boom. And here he is, the Toadstool. Right, he pushes stuff, doesn't he? Okay, this is not gonna work. We've immediately found out, everybody, that this is not actually gonna work. Okay, time to leave. Well, that's unfortunate, everybody. That is quite unfortunate. I was really looking forward to doing this. Kind of forgot that he pushes some things around, and I can't for the life of me think what he doesn't push around. That's not a structure that he will destroy. That's why I always used flowers for Pete's sake. Okay, so it looks like, unfortunately, I gotta do it the really boring method. But at least it is gonna be something different, at least. Man, I was really nervous I wasn't going to be able to find any because a lot of my guys were sleeping. But thankfully, if you walk away, especially when there's an earthquake, they get up and they start eating things. So for right now, hey, it's a Snurtle. That's pretty rare. For right now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight? No, we definitely have more than eight because I definitely fed more than eight. Okay, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rock lobsters, all with 90 damage. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We should be able to pull this off, folks. <laughs> From the brink, pretty much. From the brink. I oh, see, I even have more. Never mind. Okay, let's make that another one. Nice, nice, nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This toadstool fight was looking like a wash. But nope, we saved it. It was by no stretch of the imagination the desired way to go about doing this, folks. But I think it is time. With all my rock lobsters, red tea to go... Let's go ahead and try this one more time, shall we? And honestly, with all these guys, should be pretty easy. Because as soon as I get started in the fight, they're going to... Oh, actually, when the boom shrooms go off, then they're really going to get into it. But, and then boom, 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 boom. So with these boom shrooms, there's always a direction. Why are they going away? This all, I don't know why this happens. Sometimes they just... This is naff off, and I don't get it. Oh, come on, man. It's so annoying. It makes life a heck of a lot harder. Okay, I'm actually going to back away from this one. Fine, 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 fine. Sometimes there's just angles that you can get that don't have boom shrooms. And then once these shrooms get on your head, actually, this is when you want to run away, everybody. This is when you run away. But come on, don't naff off on me, the rock lobsters. Why don't naff off on me, rock lobsters? Gosh darn it, I hate when they freaking do this. It's so annoying. But now when he's doing this, then we go boom, 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 boom. Nice, nice, nice. All the chop chops in the world. I don't even know where the rock lobsters go when they naff off. It's so frustrating. Oh, is this so frustrating. This is, this is turning out to be more of a let's fail today than a let's play. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, they're all just... They're all just leaving. They're all just leaving, and I don't know why. Come on. Don't leave. Stay with me, for Pete's sake. My goodness gracious. Yes, yes, come here. It's like they lose interest in you somehow. <laughs> come on. Oh, it's so frustrating. So I might still be in range here. Might still be in range of the Toadstool fight, but now I just totally lost. Okay, this is just absolute borked. This entire thing has just been absolute borked, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely borked. But we'll get it somehow. If I have to just constantly do what I just did by getting guys coming back again, then so be it. That's what I'm going to have to do, I guess. Oh, and now they've all just left, everybody. Oh my gosh. Did they change the aggro on these things when it comes to Toadstool? I mean, come on. Seriously? <laughs> there is one last thing I can try, everybody. Literally one last thing I can try. Bunnyman and a combination of these guys, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. This is just... This has gone to absolute horrendous you-know-what, everybody. My gosh. Awful, awful, awful. I mean, just look at these guys. They're still loyal to me, and yet they're just walking away. I don't get it. 
I really just don't get it. They're just too far away, but I've been I've used them in the past before. Yeah, it, it's just all borked. Because even when you get close to them, then they actually notice that you're around them. But yeah, when you're doing that, they're just they're just not into it. I, they're just focusing far more on picking up all the minerals that are around it. It's, my gosh, their range on it is so annoying, obviously, because look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so bad. And yup, that is what it's come to, everybody. It's time to just hammer these huts. <laughs> as many as I can. Probably all of them. For one last attempt. So, I guess I'll see you then. Oh, this is actually mighty convenient. This is the ant lion uh, thingamadoogie, everybody. I can just use her to break these. <laughs> Thanks, ant lion. Oh, man, this is such, what a weird day. <laughs> What a weird playthrough this has been today. Oh my gosh. Okay, it works. She did some of the work for me. Thank you. All right, you toss pots. Let's try this again. Oh my goodness gracious, everybody. Now I'm just using anything I have to get these guys on my side, but they're still obviously going to prioritize all these stupid minerals that are around. Ah, uh, okay. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get them all this time. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, friend. Remember, Woody does have special loyalty things. More loyalty timers. So, as you can see, got all those guys over there. Um, only got 15 of them. Because, again, half every two is one for you. So, I had like 30 up. I can only bring 15 down. So, that kind of sucks. And Bunnymen against Toadstool are also not even a good idea to begin with. Yeah, this is just, this is an utter nightmare. If this works, my goodness gracious, my gosh. I mean, I have everything. All the healing, all the weapons, I have enough. I just can't get this going. <laughs> I just can't get this going. This is the final attempt, everybody. This is absolutely the final attempt right here. So, I didn't have to befriend all the bunnies. No, 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 no. Only had to befriend one of them, because then all the rest are gonna join in when they can. But yeah, this is exactly why Bunnymen versus uh, Toadstool, not a good idea. I only brought them over here just to get a little bit of extra damage here and there. Oh my gosh, and the Rock Lobsters are already leaving. They must have done something different to the Rock Lobsters, man, because they do not hold aggro anymore at all. Okay, you know what? <sighs> I think we just gotta chop up today, or chalk up today, rather, as a complete and utter failure. So, all right then. Definitely was not anticipating this here today, folks. Not at all. I was hoping we'd be able to kill Toadstool and then be able to do the shadow pieces today. But then, yep, yeah, it kind of hit me that this is lights out mode. And a lot of the things I was going to be wanting to do weren't actually going to pan out. Yikes. That sucks. I even brought down these pieces of meat because I was going to try to do the, uh, the moose idol and just have fun with that. But then even that's not going to work because then I have to chop the trees myself that way. Yeah. Utter disaster. Utter disaster. Toadstool's not even that hard of a fight. But, man, he kicked our butts today simply because I wanted to do something different, something fun. But nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Didn't exactly work out. Let's fail for sure. But good news is the rest of the fights in this playthrough are not going to be like this one. <laughs> the shadow piece is easy. You don't need any help for that. You'll just do that solo. I'll just fight that as Woody no matter what. Fuel Weaver, same way. And uh, Claws, same way. Nope. It was just Toadstool. This, uh, this Toadstool fight in Lights Out. Yep, it definitely, definitely kicked our butts because couldn't necessarily do it all the ways we wanted to today. Let's fail over. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.